The origins of the internal intercostals are from the inferior borders of the ribs and costal cartilages above. The fibers pass inferiorly and posteriorly to insert onto the superior borders of the ribs and costal cartilages below. The internal intercostals, especially the posterior portion, depress the rib cage during forced expiration. They are innervated by the intercostal nerves. The origins of the rectus abdominis muscles are from the pubic symphysis and the pubic crests. The insertions are to the xiphoid process of the sternum and the costal cartilages of ribs 5 through 7. The rectus abdominis muscles flex the vertebral column anteriorly. Rectus abdominis muscles also increase intra-abdominal pressure for abdominal breathing as during childbirth. They are innervated by the intercostal nerves. The origins of the internal obliques are from the thoracolumbar fascia, the iliac crests, and the inguinal ligaments. The insertions are to the linea alba via a broad aponeurosis, the pubic crests, and ribs 10 through 12, acting bilaterally the internal obliques support and compress the abdomen, raise intra-abdominal pressure, and flex the vertebral column anteriorly. Acting unilaterally, the internal oblique laterally flexes and rotates the vertebral column to the same side. Due to the compressive effect on the abdomen, the internal obliques assist in forced expiration. They are innervated by the intercostal nerves.